everyone. My name is Chrissy and I'm a Life Skills and Deployment Educator at Fleet and Family Support Center in San Diego. I'm here today to bring some on-demand videos of our return and reunion courses. And this is a course I really like to teach when I'm underway under ships called New Parents. So these would be for the parents of um, babies, uh, people who have become parents of babies since going on deployment or maybe had a baby and then left on deployment. So think maybe, because um, we do have a return to children class and that kind of covers children, maybe toddler age and up. So if you're looking at like the young toddlers, the ones that maybe can't speak, or mainly people who haven't had a chance to bond with their child or haven't been able to um, enroll in any infant care classes because they've been um, serving their country while underway. I really like to teach this class. It's usually um, a smaller offering um, because there aren't usually that many people who have babies underway, although sometimes it's several people. And I like to teach it in a round circle and share pictures and um, kind of talk about what their experiences have been and you know some of the things that they know about their children, those kind of, um, those kind of things. But I'm a mother of three. I have three children. I have two boys and a girl. Um, I am also a public school teacher by trade, that's where I started. So child development is really interesting to me and um, I also really enjoyed the time I spent with my children when they, were, when they were young. Babies are my favorite age group so I always ask to see lots of pictures and I say it's okay to bring your babies into Fleet and Family. Um, now with that said, um, these classes are meant to be taught under the COVID-19, the coronavirus pandemic. So I want you to also consider what I'm saying and take those measures into account. One being that children who are newborns have a um, lower immune system and haven't necessarily gotten all the antibodies they need to fight infection. So if you are having a caregiver who is particularly concerned and overwhelmed during this time, please give them a lot of care and support and understanding right now. I had a lot of care and worry when my children were young in that age as well. Um, they, you worry about them sleeping through the night, said them not um, having something happen where they don't wake up, like a SID situation. Um, you worry about food that um, they might choke on or have a food allergy with. You worry about having a bump on the head that might cause damage later. So just realize whoever's been caring for your child, whether that's a parent, um, a a significant other, a spouse, or someone you had a relationship with but no longer have a relationship with, give them a lot of care and concern during this time because this is a particularly scary time um, for young parents. Um, so I'm gonna jump into our brief. I have our slides printed out here. Um, I'm gonna also use this opportunity to plug one of our programs at Fleet and Family called New Parent Support. New Parent Support is a organization that works to help with some of the um, cares and concerns you might have with newborns. So if you aren't already part of that program, know that you can qualify if you have an, uh, a child that is toddler age and younger, and that's just the youngest child. So you could actually have a teenager and then a newborn and you would qualify for new parent support. But what does new parent support do? They do not come and watch your child. However, they will come in and help you with questions you might have like infant care, um, teething, sleep, infant massage, um, basically all the things that I used to spend a lot of time Googling late at night when I was worried as a young mother, um, infant, uh, new parent support can help out with that as well. So please check out with them. I know that they're finding unique ways to interact with their clients right now since they cannot come into your home where they normally would do their work. Um, but please know that that's a service that's available to you for free, which is great, right? All right. So we're gonna first talk about what to expect in the zero to 12 months. I'll give you a little bit more um, information about toddlers a little bit later. Um, bonding with your baby, any expressing and understanding changes in your family, okay? And then some resources at the end. So let's talk about newborns first. So newborns actually are experiencing the most exponential growth during their young childhood, those first few days, first few weeks, first few months than they will ever in the rest of their life. Um, think about your baby being in a very soft 
are a strong, very warm, confined space where they have constantly had enough food. They think everything's always been the right temperature. They've never had to have their diaper changed. They've never had to have a bath. Everything was provided for them in that womb. And then they get pushed out into the cold and uncaring world. And then they have to learn how to survive and adapt through that. Um, so I have a little baby here. This is one of my daughter's dolls. Um, this would be about the size of a preemie. But think too, you know, some of the things you might want to um, consider are soft sounds for the baby. And even though the baby cannot communicate with you, they are trying their best way to communicate that they can. They will know the sound of your voice if you were around when the baby was in the womb or if the if you have been conversing with that child since then. They will recognize your voice and they will find that to be a comfort. Um, and then think about, they like the sounds of basically intimating the sounds of the womb. Now newborns cry a lot, okay? And that's normal. So think too about doing things that might put them back in the safe space that they are used to. So there's a book called The Happiest Baby on the Block, and you, you might know about this book. There's a DVD that goes along with it as well that I actually just rented, for, I took got out from the library. So got that, watched the DVD, and then used it with my children. But you're talking about five S's. So the first one is shushing, and it's actually a lot louder than you think, kind of like shh. So that would em emulate the sound of like rushing blood in the womb and in that tight restricted environment. So shushing, swaddling, which I can show you with my blanket over here. So that swaddling, and you can watch more videos how to do that, it's just tightly wrapping the baby and not in the way that I'm doing it. Um, there's a specific way you do it with the arms down. So shushing, swaddling, swaying and side. So that would be putting the baby on its side swaying back and forth, a little jiggle, and then the last thing you can do is sucking. So a baby can suck on a finger, they can suck on a pacifier, they can um, suck on their own fist later when they get enough control to do, to do that. Um, but think about sucking, swaying, shushing, swaddling. Sucking, swaying, shushing, swaddling, side. <laughs> so like this, shh. And there's some nice videos you can watch about the five S's that can show you how to calm down your baby. So if you haven't had a chance to have infant care, that's one way you can wow the people, the caregivers who have been taking care of your children um, just by practicing the five S's. So I'll be back for portion two of New Parents.